While our country has been understandably concentrated on apologising for the stolen generations of Aboriginal children taken from their parents, at Gaimi Technology High School we have a slightly different slant on the story. For more than 30 years, generations of Aboriginal families from tiny towns in country New South Wales have been sending their children to stay at Kirinari Hostel and attend our school, hoping to increase their success with an improvement in secondary education. Today I am talking to an Aboriginal man, Bruce Shillingsworth. He came a part of this program. We would like to know about his childhood in the country, move to the big city, and how his culture is important to him. Welcome back to Guy Bruce. Thank you. Bruce, where did you grow up? Well, I was actually born in a, a small town called Brewarna, but I lived with my parents in another small town called Enganya. That's northwest of Burke. And uh, it's about 14 hours drive from Sydney to Enganya. Can you tell us what it was like to grow up in a place so different from here where I live? Oh, gee, you got me thinking now. Well, when I was a young boy out in Enganya, was, uh, we, we lived a happy life. You know, we were very content with what we had. And uh, mum and dad used to teach us the old traditional way. You know, we used to go out, we still used to go out doing the hunting and looking for bush tucker. And I can remember when we used to go out hunting, we used to go all day. You know, and we used to, on our, on our trek, we used to find our meal out, on, out in the bush. It was such wonderful things. How old were you when you left home? I left home when I was 12. I actually attended uh, Kirinari in Newcastle. I done my year seven there, and then I come back to Sydney and spent my time here at Kirinari, doing uh, year seven again, and going right through the year twelve. How did it make you feel? Did you miss your parents and your family and that? Well, at that time we were only young, and you know, missing home was a big thing in our life. You know, sometimes we had our cries when we were starting to leave, travel from Mangania. We used to go to Burke and catch a plane from there and fly to Sydney. You know, we used to have our tears and. And, and then through the years, you know, when I look back at it, you know, it's been a wonderful thing in my life, coming here to go to school and um, just to get that start in life. Did leaving home permanently affect you? Well, I think I've had, uh, in, in, in my mind, I had something that I wanted to make something of my life. And I said I'd have to get away from that small town because there was nothing there for, for myself and, and there's still nothing there for young people. So we had to get away and get a better education so we can get a job in life. What was good about the change? I think I made a good good change in life. You know, if, if I was still back at Indian, you know, I wouldn't be doing the things I've done today. You know, because uh, I focused a lot on my education. And that's why I spent so many years here at Guy Mere. You know, we had such wonderful teacher, good school and the hostel where I was staying was good. We had good house parents. Bruce, what are your memories about the Kirinari Youth Hostel? Well, I can remember the house parents and all the other students that were there. And uh, they were friendly people. It was a good place to stay. You know, we all got on together and there was a lot of sport. We played a lot of sport. We attended school regularly. And a lot of the kids that did go to the hostel at my time and now got big jobs. Can you tell us what school was like for you then? Well, school were different. Coming from a small country town, from a small, it was a small primary school, we only had about 30, 40 kids. To a school here that had 12, you know, nearly 1,500. I was happy coming to school, you know, because I was happy coming every day, you know, because we had something here to do all the time. And we played a lot of sport. And I can remember we had our uh, school football team, and we had a, had, a, had a back line. It was all Aboriginal players, and we called it the, the back line, the black line. <laughs> Yeah, it was very funny, but the team was hard to beat. We had a good team. Can you remember any of your teachers? Well, no, I can only remember one, that's Mr Wilmington. He's the math teacher. Is there any gossip about him? No, no, not really. <laughs> oh, he, he, used to, he used to make us work. Oh. We, didn't, we didn't have bloods or anything, have any free time. You know, we was always concentrated on our, on our work. What has happened in your life since leaving school? 
Well, since I left school here in 86, I went back to Ngarnia. I spent my time doing a bit of uh, youth work. I was uh, running a, a youth centre. And um, I worked in education for the other half of my life. And I'm still in education today. I work now in our Alexandria Park Community School, which is at two campuses. I work on both campuses, a junior and a senior campus. At the moment, I've got, I've got my wife and we've got three lovely kids. And we were... We were living in Brewarana when um, I can remember mum, mum said to me, son, the best thing to do in life is to get an education. She said education was the key to everything. It can take you everywhere in the world. And, and I realised that with my own family. So we moved from Brewarana and now we moved, we're living in Sydney. And, and I said to myself, you know, it's, it's, it's more now, for, better for our kids now than living out in the country. There's more opportunities, there's a lot to do, there's more sports. Kids can get involved in everything. There's more now for kids than what we had in our days. Do you still have connections with your hometown? Well, I do go home and I take my kids home now every holiday break to get home and see the relatives and you know to go hunting and do the stuff that we like down out in the bush. Yeah. How did the Prime Minister's apology affect you? Well, it affect everyone, I think. You know, especially those who were always taken away from their children at that age and. Um, it was a big relief for a lot of people, especially for me. You know, so I'm relieved that something, something's been done, and been acknowledged, and we need to move on and, and look forward to the future. How important is Aboriginal culture to you? Well, Aboriginal culture is so important to me because it, it, it's, it's my identity, being an Aboriginal person. You know, once we lose that, we become nothing, we become lost. But that's, and it's so important for me to pass my knowledge onto my children, and so they can pass it on to the next generation. How can we make this culture important to our mainstream Australian society? Well, I think it's about bringing everything together and respecting each other's culture and each other's background. And it's so important to learn Aboriginal culture because we're the, one of the oldest race in the world. You know, and, 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 and passing that on, we've been living here for thousands of years. And a lot of that knowledge and background that we got of this country is so important. The Aboriginal people have been living here for thousands of years in this country and now it's so important for us to educate non-Indigenous non people and it's so important to respect other cultures as well, you know, and, and for other cultures to learn our traditional ways and for us to learn their traditional ways. It's so important you know, to, res to, to build up respect against each other. And at the moment I've got a dance group that I teach now at Alexander Park Community School and in that dance group there's there's, there's boys with all different types of background, you know, from different, different, different countries, different nationalities. So it's so important so we can educate, you know, non-Indigenous non people about our culture. Bruce, thank you for coming back to our school and sharing some of your experiences with us. Thank you.
Oh, 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 oh,